hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you a demo of a spring boot project and this is a spring boot application a web application and let's see the demo how the application is working what are the functionalities and uh, what technology that we are using end-to-end uh, -end technology what is the complete suite of the technology so uh, to manage the backend or service layer it's using a spring boot and to manage the backend of the application we are using mysql database that is connected by the hibernate jpa things uh, for the front end it's using bootstrap jsp html css all the things in a one combo so um, for the requirements so this is a hotel management or you can say uh, application that going to manage the reception of a hotel so um, let's say uh, if you are a hotel receptionist and you have a system and you, have, um, like you have a system and you want to run that application and manage all the hotel activities like customer or comings all the bookings or uh, um, you can manage your employees you can manage your uh, um, you can say like uh, departments and all the things so we'll see one by one so uh, to run this application or deploy the application we are using tomcat server so uh, you can see the tomcats running over the tomcat server so as uh, when you are going to run this application first time you have to open this uh, like first package under the first package to see your runner you right click on this file and go to run as and select any server you can select as a java application you can select as a spring boot or app and uh, run on server so i just just click on this you will get uh, like let me stop the server and let me run it again why i'm showing you how you can run it so as we are providing the remote support uh, for the applications so we will if you uh, take this project from us uh, we will do the com remote setup and we will provide the remote support so we will help you to run the application at your machine so in this condition you will get your uh, your application and after that you have to just uh, right click on this go to run as and click on any server and it will run there so make sure what port number is running currently you can see it's running over the 8080 okay now next thing go to application properties and check this url and uh, go to your browser just enter localhost and the port number on which your application is running and then this sub ui so i just copy it and i paste it after localhost at zero at zero and you see the application is running and a login form is there so there is only one user of the application which is admin now let's move to the database section as as i told you we using mysql server so under the mysql you have you can see the i'm using mysql workbench so you will get the database here under the table section you will get this all the table just right click on the user table and view the data of the table and you can see here there's a username admin123 and the password is admin123 so I'm using same thing here. So I just logged in into the application. After login, you will see this is kind of ERP system, or you can say backend system of any organization for any hotel. So the hotel name is or, or organization name is work panda, you can say. So uh, these are the new orders, total revenue, rooms. This is kind of dashboard. So uh, a hotel receptionist can see these things, and there's the list of let, latest booking. And this complete data is dummy data, uh, so we are not using any, any genuine data. So, but just we are for the testing purpose, we are entering some dummy data. So, it's showing the recent uh, bookings, or uh, you can say latest bookings. If you click on the view all things, so you will, you will you will see all the details here. Also, we have a search option here, so you can search it by booking number. So, it will filter the data. <coughs> okay now this complete data as i told you this complete data is coming from the database so in this database we are managing this data with different different like booking table with responsible to keep all the bookings uh, we'll see this later first let's explore the application apart from the dashboard like apart from the dashboard we have a separate dashboard section when you click on the dashboard you will see this and when you click on the bookings 
you will see all the bookings and also let's say the customer come to you and you want to book a uh, some like uh, some hotels or some rooms so you can say the guest and uh, here you need to select the user and the room type uh, i will show you how can you add a new user into the system uh, so if you if it's a new customer it's a customer you can add it uh, from here and room type let's say i select this room and let's say adult uh, so i have to just enter some dummy yes enter kit so forth and that's like how many members are there let's say five and we have the two kids and the check-in date let's say i'm going to enter today's date and check out date or enter another date okay gonna see now the booking will display here uh, the booking will display here in this records also we have a next button so you can check the next thing here next under the guest section you can add a new guest also in booking you can add a new booking a booking you can search booking by a booking number under the guest module we have a guest dashboard we have a vip uh, members four members and we have a uh, 14 bookings and the income is total this so now let's say i am going to add a new guest so i just enter data here I'm just entering some dummy data so it will save our time and let's just asking to add an image so let's say I'm gonna add this dummy image and I click on the save so now we have an option here is VIP or not if this customer is a VIP customer then I have to click on the VIP check or the VIP if it's not VIP or uh, like not a premium customer I have I can uncheck this also enter the date section make sure you are in the, you are entering a valid date so let's say a bit of birth is fine i click on the save button the guest form is added successfully now you can see the name is bolted and now if i go to the booking section click on the edit booking now this guest will display here so now we can book hotels for this user okay so we have a different different room types so we can change the room type from here also under the guest section we have an option if any customer is added and you want to make it the make him as a vip it will mark as a vip so you now you can see the vip count is five let's say i make this customer as a vip i i can view the complete detail of that uh, guest i can check the details i can check the orders i can check the payments for that particular uh, customer or guest okay also we have an option to edit that record so i just again go to the guest section and i can edit this okay that's fine uh, under the room type we have all the crude operation we can add a new room type into the hotel and just need to fill up this form and uh, i can search form by title i can view the uh, room type i can edit the room types and i can delete one record under the price manager i can change the price of that particular like under the price manager it's showing a particular room type how perform monthly like uh, what was the cost of the sunday monday tuesday Wednesday, saturday and like this okay so I'll click on the add so i have to enter this all the details manually and i can set that records Paid services, so what are the paid services currently we have, like uh, let's say if uh, hotel manager want to add a new, new service, let's say food services and select a status is active or inactive, I click active, now it will display my service. Okay, we have a, another section that is related to the internal uh, employee of the hotel so these all the modules are related to the external user or you can say customer and uh, customer and reception and these employees and department and uh, employee and department are the internal so if some uh, this some like uh, some better so some uh, employees are working under my hotel so i can fill up these records here i can uh, add the data here and i can also perform the crude operation for the department list another option we have a my profile and the change password 
So this is a good example uh, for any ERP or backend of any organization. So you can have this project and uh, again I'm telling you this is using Spring Boot and uh, JSP servlets and uh, sorry JSP Hibernate and uh, yeah, Bootstrap things and also if you want uh, like uh, you want the source code you can contact us over the whatsapp or you can mail us directly so our support team will always available to help you to run this kind of project at your machine also if you want need of explanation on how the internal code is working and how we build this project so we have that session as well so please contact if you need and at the last let's understand the database section so under the database section we have a booking table that's going to relate or uh, contain all the data for the bookings we have a cities table we have a countries table department table employee floor guest paid services payment and all the backend is there and it's using particular uh, like you can say foreign key all the relationship it's using MBC architecture, the most important things, and it's a Maven project, so managing the dependency and the founder XML. So, if you need, please contact and uh, uh, take a service from the support team, they're really helpful. And if you are preparing for any kind of interview, you can join our training program. So, the team, highly experienced and developers, are you can join these programs like we have programs under the Google one section. So we have different different training like minor project, major project, Java web development, static web training and automation training. So if you are from the testing domain, you can also join us. So thank you. And